Leave us alone for a minute. The Colombian cartel is making spanks somewhere in Liberty, but we don't know where. And they seem to know everything we're doing before we do. We got us a rat. There's a guy named Curly Bob who works the bar at Luigi's. He's been throwing more money around than he's earning. He ain't pimping or pushing, so he must be talking. He usually gets a taxi home after work, so follow him. And if he's ratting us out, kill him. Enjoy chewing damp hay and prancing around in leggings, shouting, Hiya! Okay, that though, I'm warning you this time. Do not make me angry. Bad for my karma, and it will definitely be bad for your karma. I study the martial arts like a stand up holy just like you, and I encourage everyone listening out there on Chatterbox to buy my book and learn how organic food and martial arts are. <laughs> and I encourage anyone who needs a doorstop or a booster seat to buy it as well. Let's see who's on the phones. Yeah, no. This is your final warning. Do not make me go into my dragon's dance. Hey, Hello, no. caller. You are on the air. Hello, Reed. I bought your book. It really saved my life. Why, thank you. I yeah. want to ask about chapter 29. It's yoga, not yogurt. I just can't give up cheese. It's so wonderful. I rejected chocolate milk and cat butter out of my life. I've scooted around the house with my legs and behind my head for two days now. But my husband has been like an exorcist. I even saw the dairy on the top shelf of the fridge so I couldn't reach it with my legs and behind my head and all. But I grew weak and start knocking things down with the room. What can I do, Reed? Do not fret, me, child. We are all Keep searching her. Shut up, you carnivore. Why don't you go gnaw on a bone like a gorilla lad, though? Our ancestors didn't eat chicken wings. They lived at one with nature in their ecosystem. Subsisting with diet of nuts, very leafy vegetables. Yes, and they threw stones at their own shadow and died of old age and fear at 24. Laszlo, the soul is eternal. But let me answer the question. When I'm in trouble or tempted by those all-you-can-eat breakfast buffets with huge pans of juicy bacon... Can we get some bacon in here? Laszlo, I go back to basics. I start the day with a fruity beverage, some meditation, and six hours of yoga. The next, I go open up my shop, now and then, and drink two pints of hand-pressed potato juice. And who wants a steak after that? Okay, next caller, you are on Chatterbox with Reed Tucker. Yo, Reed. Kung Fu movies are dope. How can I learn to beat up ten guys at once? Okay, first things first, my man. You need to stop the negative thinking. And the best attack I've found is to just run away. That way you instill fear in your opponent. You never know when you might descend from the rafters like a bat. I don't want to hear about no tofu running away. I want to learn about being a ninja and kick people's ass. Actually, I do cover this early on in the book in chapter 45. It's called Stir Fry. Here comes our little friend, Mr. Big Mouth himself. Were you followed? You know what goes on here is our little secret, Ami. No, no, I, I wasn't followed. You got my stuff? Here's your spank, Squealer. Now talk. Okay, so the Leones are fighting wars on two fronts. They're in a turf war with the triads, with no sign of either side giving up. Meanwhile, Joey Leone has stirred up some bad blood with the Forellis. Every day they're losing men and influence in the city. Salvatore has become a dangerous and paranoid. He expects everybody and everything. And with loyalty like yours, what has he possibly got to worry about? Into two half desks. Take it away, Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, I already visualized the desk in two half desks. And now I shall make it to the dragon's dance. Ah! 